morning guys it is close to 10 o'clock and we're just on our way to the gym now and they're going to daycare again right <laughs> you see you uh -huh. yeah oh. <laughs> this way yep so yeah it's uh it's been a long hard two days but it's slowly getting easier at some points and then at other points like when I made the little memorial video I was like bawling my eyes out and every now and again I'll like think I'm seeing her in the corner of my eye and it's not fun so hopefully as everyone has said it gets easier and easier and I mean I lost my dad so I do know loss it does over time but it took a long long time for my dad so we'll see anyway so we're here now seven six five four three two one you'll never have the sacred stone <laughs> oh this you crazy mother For supper yesterday, Matt made this orange chicken, and it's so good. It's got like sweet potato, some broccoli, uh, chicken, some rice noodles, uh, known as vermicelli. Is there carrot too? No. Okay. It's just sweet potato. Anyway, it's like so delicious. Honesty's taking a little while there to eat it, but oh, wow. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to vlog. Um, so that workout was pretty awesome. I did an hour of cardio total. By the end of it, I had done about 15 minutes on the um, ski skating. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Lateral. Watch out, honey. Be careful. Um, trainer. And then I did... 30 some odd minutes on the treadmill and then like 18 minutes total if you add in the cool down um, on the elliptical so yeah my body is definitely elliptical. yeah What's elliptical? an elliptical is a exercise machine it helps exercise our body makes our body move <laughs> do you have anything else to add to the vlog before I say bye? What do you want to say? Bye, it's No, but what do you want to say other than that? Is there something you want to talk about? A chair. Okay, what about a chair? Should you be sitting on one because it's lunchtime? I want to see. Are you able to get up there, honey? If you want to get your kids to eat, this is how to do it. It's magic.
<laughs> Do you have anything to say before I shut it off? Bye. Bye. I want to see yourself. Oh, are you gonna do it? Daddy's gonna turn it off. So now we're at DQ. We're on our way to, can't say it aloud, because it is a surprise. I got a smoothie and Matt got a salted caramel blizzard and we're just waiting for them to give it to us and then we're on our way there. So now we're here. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know who it is? Do you know who you're gonna see? <laughs> you don't know. You'll know soon.
I got some really good ideas, but it just didn't happen. Okay. Don't worry, I know, so, I know how to fix this up. Hey, Randy, really can I let's give it a great, great to see you? Welcome to Bob, didn't you? Don't look up the top, people are waving to you up there. Okay. Everybody's waving down here, Dorothy. Now, Dorothy, I'm going to ask you a big favor. Could you answer this question? What do you like best in the whole world, Dorothy? I love roses. Well, I'm glad you said that because sometimes people bring roses. Would you say it again, Dorothy? I love roses. Yeah, she loves roses. Everybody, you got a rose for Dorothy. Hold it up near. Sometimes people do bring roses. This one over there, fantastic. And, and another bunch of roses there. And another some roses there. And up the top, oh, up the top as well, there's roses. Here's Aren't big, they beautiful? Give them a big clap, everyone.
So now we're on our way back to the car. That was awesome, wasn't it, honey? What did you think? Was it awesome? Yes. Yeah, say it a little louder. Was it awesome? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so too. She's having too much fun. So did Daddy. We're here at the mall eating some. I'm eating some Hugo juice uh, flatbread kale chicken Caesar. Um, one and a half of them. Honesty's got a half of one. And then a couple of popcorn chicken from KFC. Mommy's got the right touch. Not daddy. Just kidding. <laughs> and he's got some KFC because he associates the mall with KFC now. <laughs> Hmm. Cutie. Now we're just waiting for Matt to come back. Honesty's finishing her sandwich in the car. That is your dad. Don't call him Matt. Say, where's daddy? Daddy's just finishing up getting some stuff in Superstore. Where's which Matt? <laughs> oh. Daddy. Daddy will be back soon. That's what I was trying to finish up saying, and then he called while I was making a What's video. That? Matt is your daddy's name. Silly goose. Bye. <laughs> Bye, oh, she's so tired. She didn't have a nap today. Like, wow. I'm surprised she's lasted. <laughs> it's not closing. Oh boy. But yeah, so He's just getting some salad stuff and something for us to have for lunch tomorrow and some crystal lights because I just, I can't fathom drinking W-A-T-E-R and I spelt that because I don't want to like give her any ideas but I don't want to just drink that all the time so there's that. Matt's just finishing up here and then we're gonna go home. Matt's actually Matt's gonna go to the park with honesty and I'm gonna go home and finish up editing that vlog. I'm probably not gonna get it done. <sighs> well I might. I should have had it up by three but today was a bit of a busy day. The gym and then the wiggles and my foot hurts like crazy. Like really bad. Like it's burning. I told Matt I almost want to see you T-O-O-F or O-F-F, C-U-T-I-T-O-F-F. I'm spelling it because that's not something you want to say to your kid because they might take it literally. Um, yeah, it hurts so bad. I gotta see a chiropractor or something. I don't know what to do because Boots really needs dental work and I need to take, what I might do is go to a chiropractor couple of sessions or an acupuncturist and then get the money back because we have insurance and then send boots with what's what's left. Anyway, I'm gonna go for now. Matt's back. <laughs> He's trying to get in. No, mommy does, because she's going to eat it. Oh my goodness, I don't have much for recording, but look what came in. This is her two to three year old Shutterfly book. Fall Fun. It says Fun with Friends 2016. That's her and Liam. And then her, her little uh, Jerry and Mr. Ribbity. And then... October of last year when we made pumpkins. That's hers. And then her playing and then her petting paws. <sighs> and Boots actually being friendly with her even though she's on the trampoline. And then birthday, Aiden's birthday party. There's Liam and Honesty. Honesty. And then there's Honesty. And then this is from the Halloween at the zoo last year and then Christmas around that time see she was potty training there and then our Christmas family photo shoot and then more Christmas stuff and boots and paws boots and paws oh, gosh I miss her and then some random fun 
Like when we made Play-Doh and her being silly with her new mittens from her great aunt Catherine and her hats. She'll be definitely fitting into those this winter. She fit into them a bit last winter, but even better this winter coming. And then I just put in a bunch of, um, after this, the trampoline park and when we went to the maple sugar camp and then just random things. Zoo in the spring last year, or this year I mean, and then some making some applesauce and playtime and when we made uh, Play-Doh Easter eggs and then I started putting the collages I made on Instagram in here. It made my life a lot easier and it went a lot quicker when I used these collages. I was like, ooh, this works. Like, and I was able to get a lot in. This is why it was so expensive to get this darn thing. Because I put a lot of pages in it. So this is what you guys missed. Our anniversary and everything. Summer fun. When we went to the Buskers and St. John. The only thing I'm not happy with is it looks like a flubbed up on the book. Uh, where is it? For instance, uh, this one. Look at that. And I'm pretty sure I had everything perfectly aligned there is space around the edges there and there's like uneven ones too where did it go maybe it's after watch out buddy careful hey what are you doing what are you doing oh i'm almost out of battery uh, ah instance this one look at it it's small here then as you go up, it gets a bit bigger. So I might call them, see what Matt thinks, because we spent a lot of money on this. They're going to have to fix it, I think, or give us a credit for something. Anyway, so I'm just going to double check my work on my end, and then we'll make a complaint. I've never had any trouble like that before with them, so something must have went wrong. Anyway, I'm going to go for now because I don't have any more space on my phone. But there's nothing saying I don't have space on the camera, the video camera. So our anniversary, oh my gosh, the glare, sorry. Uh, I already went past the stuff, St. John. And then when she did um, box painting and her friend's birthday party, Bella, and then mini golf. And then, let's see, our first tea party. I love this pic of her. I just love how it turned out. The only problem is I tried to recreate it um, when we went to the beach because obviously it's a better backdrop, but it just wasn't working. That one is like my all-time favorite picture of her so far other than that one down there I don't know right there the black and white one yeah that's like my all-time favorite I know that one and then these are her first photos and selfies that she took with Matt's old phone <laughs> this one's awesome <laughs> And that, she did really good. That too was hilarious. And then she bouquetted something, which is pretty awesome. Or, bo well, I don't know if it's bouquet or bouquet or, I pronounce it bouquet. I'm pretty sure it's that, <laughs> but I don't know for sure. Anyway, so that's Honesty's first photos ever. And then our first, and then our first time at the water park. 
and Liam's birthday party. Daddy being sick and honesty crawling all over him. And just random moments. Uh, it says here, family is forever moments. This is her birthday photo shoot. Yeah, it was hard trying to recreate that exact thing because she wouldn't stay still and it was windy and I just didn't get it. And then when we went to the zoo on her birthday, celebrate the big day and then here's her party and the photos with her nanny and step -grampy. So that's what we got so far until she's four. Oh, and I got that little pocket, and I thought it was a little pocket. It's huge. It's awesome. So anyway, we'll be putting all of our season passes in here uh, to commemorate what we did this year. And if I can find it, there's like a little pamphlet for the buskers. Put that in here. Just a bunch of keepsakes so we can save them. Anyway, that is our photo book for for uh, this year slash last year, part of last year. And other than the flubs, fl other than the flubs up, um, I'm pretty happy with it. Hey guys, we're just on our way to a yoga class. Exciting. We're gonna do a stretch in some uh, massage chair <laughs> prior to, cause uh, my foot needs it. Oh my gosh, like everything else, I'm good. My foot, ow. <laughs> But I think I was looking up some research about burning feet and I'm pretty sure it's plantar fasciitis, which can be healed. So I'll try my best. Anyway, so Liam's not here today because he's with his dad, but there's a little honesty. She's gonna go to daycare and we're gonna go work out. So I'll come back after. <laughs> Cute. We are about to do body flow and it's starting. Oh, okay. good. Let's stop some movement. <laughs> close up the vlog last night but this is gonna be hilarious so we're here at a different location should be fun I'm excited so we just did a shabam class it wasn't Zumba because they didn't have an instructor that was kind of ridiculous but um now I'm here on the row machine I'll show you in just a sec 15 calories burnt so far with one arm <laughs> just joking so now we're on our way to the food truck festival. Here's Honesty in our stroller. There's my mom. Matt, it's starting to rain. Step down. I'm starving. Can't wait to see what they have. You get out of my way. That's the one we ate at at the Chacha -cha truck, the big cheese. Shangri-La brought a whole truck with them for their food. <laughs> Yay, I got to eat, try Heavy Kevies. I haven't tried it yet, but I got a Caesar salad. Matt got some mac and cheese balls for us, a pork um, uh, grilled cheese and fries. Honestly, has a huge wrap. <laughs> And then we got some dessert, the cookie dough stuff, and that. And then my mom had clams and uh, fries. 
Oh, we'll go tell them. And then there's uh, yeah, mine was cold. Uh, don't air. That's not good. <laughs> is that right? I don't know if you guys can see that, but that, bug is really hungry. that little sucker's exactly. hungry. He's like a wasp. <laughs> Man, he's like ejecting his bottom half. What I've been is just sucking in all the nutrients? Wow. Like that. Probably the weirdest thing I've seen today. It's eating it. It's not a flower, buddy. There's no nectar. And now it's raining outside. It got really wet real fast. And there's honesty in a wet, bouncy castle. <laughs> Do you see what it says there? Never use water on the ride. Oops. Jump! Woo! Hey guys! <laughs> You're sneezing too? Hey guys, it is uh, 10, to si 10 to 7 and we're just on our way to do a couple of errands. We're gonna go to a place to get a, another key made so that I have a key with me when I go to the gym instead of having to bring every single one of my keys and always having to transfer my, like I just want to bring my lock key, my house key, and my fobs. So, um, in case you don't know what a fob is, it's that little thing that, it's like a key card to get into somewhere. That's what it is. Anyway, so, um, we're gonna go do that. Today was a decent workout. They only put it on for like 40 minutes or something instead of the hour, which was kind of annoying, but it worked out because then I went upstairs and did some row machine and uh, got to take a shower and blah blah blah. Anyways, um, I was feeling a little unmotivated for yesterday. I don't know if I talked about that. <laughs> and by a little, a lot. Um, and uh, I just was hating that my foot was sore and um, I don't know, just I think what I'm looking for at the gym with a, like a gym partner, I'm just not going to get and I have to accept that. Because um, I'd like someone that's like standing right there beside me, I know, seems like needy but that's not what I mean, um, not standing, actually working out and doing it intensely, as intensely as me so that we can continue to motivate each other. Um, and I know Matt's not going to be that and in the past I've had friends and such that just weren't interesting, interested in being that and it, I, I mean Patricia this is the first time she's ever worked out so I imagine she's not going to be that. I think I just have to accept it and motivate myself and so anyway. It comes out. What comes out? The hair. So then um the instructor didn't show up at this new place. So that's why we only did a 40 minute workout. They did a uh, virtual one and Patricia was like, I can't even follow this. So after like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so, she went upstairs, did some treadmill and I continued, but I wasn't really following it perfectly. So I probably burnt like maybe 300 calories instead of the full amount which is still good, like I was sweating and my calves were burning. And then I did the row machine, which I used to love when I went to the gym before, and it's awesome. So, um, I probably burnt like 350 calories or something today, <laughs> which still isn't enough. And that's why, you know, I don't want, I'm having trouble being the person who's like, always pushing someone to do more and like I want to be able to have someone push me to do more and me push them to do more and then them not be upset at me um, and just know that it's the right thing like we're here to lose weight and I know that are they closed they're closed maybe I don't see any cars whatsoever they closed at 2. 
today. Well, there's that. And they're closed tomorrow, so we have to get it Monday. We were just gonna get Boots food. Some more came in. Yeah, we're at the vet just to pick up Boots food, but they're closed, so we can't get any. Um, yeah, so. Where are we going? At Walmart, at the mall. Oh, we're not getting the groceries. No. There's no other one. Uh, honey, it's just that it's almost your bedtime. So that, so we can't, we don't really have time now. But we'll go, we'll go tomorrow, okay? Uh. Is there... Stop pulling at his hair. Um, so it was, um, yeah, I kind of feel like if I'm not doing as much as I said I wanted to do, I want someone to be like, hey, hold me accountable. Like, you said you were going to do that much. But I don't want that person being the kind of person that isn't going to do as much as they say they were going to do. Because then it's just like, why are you telling me what to do when you can't even do it? And I know that if I just skipped out on that dance workout again like I did yesterday, I was going to have no motivation to do anything else because that's what I wanted to do and I know that I'm not going to burn many calories on the treadmill or um, maybe a stair stepper right now because I mean I just don't have the energy to do that but like things like the elliptical for me, the row machine, um, the lateral like ski skating machine, those are going to burn calories for me. Um, so I need to go to those things that I know will actually make me lose weight. Um, not just do it because it's easy. If I did that, I would have never lost weight anytime I went to the gym or uh, worked out outside or walked around. And Like I used to walk. Oh my gosh, I wish I had the energy for this and my foot didn't hurt. I used to walk like sometimes an hour and a half a day like I would walk half an hour to work half an hour back and then like if we had to go do something like my mom or my grandmother or whoever I'd be walking again um, and I used to walk from work to the gym when I was in the gym and then I would be it was a little obsessive not gonna lie um, I would walk to the gym from work which was like 30 40 minutes and then I would work out for like two, two and a half hours, then walk home from the gym, which was like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and uh, that's a lot. <laughs> and no wonder why I got burnt out after like, I forget how many months it was back then, like six months, I think. That was the longest I ever stuck to going to the gym. But I felt okay. The only thing is I was starting to have teeth issues, like enamel issues and stuff at that point. So I think I like was leaching off my calcium, not having enough calcium in my diet and therefore having issues. So once you know better, you can do better. And I know what I need to do to actually lose weight. I can't just relax at the gym. I just can't. It just doesn't make sense. I mean relax in your head <laughs> be relaxed don't be stressed out because you're like trying to give it your all but um don't like just okay I'm gonna put it on like three I can't do that the whole time on a treadmill or on uh, an elliptical I have to push myself into intervals because that's what I've learned that fat burning is best doing intervals high intensity interval training I'm not quite there yet but I'm working my way up there and um, I, I would love to get that trainer because I know that she's gonna teach me even more of that and like she's gonna know my body type and she's gonna know what my limits are and she's gonna push me to them and that's what I need but we can't afford it because I have to call the vet and check and see if um, 
you know, like 300 bucks or something is enough for him to get his teeth cleaned and have a little exam or whatever. Hopefully it is, because if it's not, then I guess we can't afford it anyway, which really sucks. And maybe we'll just have to save up, I don't know, something. Try and figure it out. Our budget is just SHIT right now with all the extra spending we've been doing. So, and joining. And then joining the gym and. <sighs> smell? Yeah, I kind of smell something, but. Um, joining the gym obviously costs money. Mac gets a very discounted rate, mind you. Honey? She's, she must be getting like vertigo or something. I don't know what's happening. Like, it doesn't make sense. This is what she was saying when we were in Patricia's car. She didn't want it shaking. I don't understand what she expects. We're in a car, honesty. The ground is not moving. The car is moving. The car is moving because daddy is making it move. Outside's not moving. Everything is staying the same except for cars. It's because, oh, I know what it is. It's because before, when she was in her old car seat, it's shorter. This car seat is taller, so now she sees out the window. She thinks everything is moving. But what's really happening is we're moving. You know, like at the, the uh, on the carousel. At the fun zone. You you would go round and round, but it was just the horse going round, not the rest of the things. Not the ground, not whatever. This is the same thing. It's a car. It's moving. No, the ground is not moving, honey. Well, we'll get into that later, technically. Kind of is, but... <laughs> Anyways, for now, for all intents and purposes, honey, the ground is not moving. <laughs> and so, um, wow, like she's in that what's that phase and like, and then she'll just continue to be like, well, what's that? Well, what's that? And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to explain the whole world to you. And like one night and I don't know if you're ready for that. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm just having a bit of trouble, but I worked past it a bit today by staying in the class, continuing. I knew I wasn't gonna be perfect the first time I went. I know it's probably gonna take me 20 times before I'm good at those dance moves because I have a very hard time following anybody, whether it's virtual or a real person, but I just wanna go move. I wanna have fun. I wanna start getting my flexibility back and I don't always just want to be doing gym workouts. I want to mix it up with some dance classes, some yoga classes. Like it's part of the membership. Why not? So anyway, that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep going to Shabam and I'm not going to go to Zumba because it's at a different one. And I think they're getting rid of that club anyways. And, um, Matt, there's no jump at that club and Matt wants to go on Saturday. So I'm going to go do yoga with or without anyone on Saturdays and if there just happens to not be an instructor then I'll just do a weight train workout or uh, a virtual class or whatever I'm gonna stop demotivating myself enough with like I absorb energy so I need to stop doing that like I need to just focus on the like video and like they have lots of energy these people that are like instructors in the videos and and the instructors in real life they all have energy so that's my thing and if not then I'm going to <laughs> people are looking at me <laughs> and if not I'm going to have to find a way at some point hopefully we get a miracle and I'll go see that trainer because I need that boost potentially we'll see I don't know just rambling on it is just after 8 and we got back a little bit ago honesty's just having a quick snack boots why are you playing with that bag huh you're so playful 
look at me. That's the bag of this, the stuff we got came in. So anyway, um, we got three things. I saw this and some people are probably going to be like, oh, that's Huey. That, that doesn't exist. But I've been getting like signs and such. I feel that she's still around us and um, uh, I saw like a picture of a cat while I was talking to Matt about her uh, that kind of looked like her from afar and I was like wow okay that's weird I'm talking to talking about her and then another time it happened while I was talking to my mom a uh, post came up in my Facebook feed where this cat looked very similar to Paws too and I was like whoa again and then I just made something on Facebook that said earth is missing an angel and while we were there this bracelet says earth angel the angels of our lives and it's a cat bracelet, and I love charms. So it says cat. Uh, a cat. I won't wear this all the time, but I'm still going to wear it sometimes to remind me of her when I go do things. Um, a cat is a soft, furry friend with claws and a little attitude. It is an earth angel that is both fun to play with and smart. A cat is a perfect a perfect companion that leaves paw prints on your heart. Um, I'll show you the little uh, picture I edited um, and posted on Facebook. They had little urns, like it was tiny, probably about this size and like how much space there is inside. Um, maybe even less actually now that I think of it and uh, it was $55 I mean not that like expense is really super super important when it comes to something this important but I mean this is gorgeous we used to call her princess of course it was for like a baby souvenir or something of some sort but uh, yeah we're just gonna use this as the urn um, and when I print a picture, I'm going to put like a paw around her picture and put paws and the year she passed and stuff. So anyway, that's that. And we also got a little Christmas ornament that we got engraved that says paws 2008 to 2017 on it. So this will be our first Christmas without her in uh, nine years. So... She's not going to be eating our tree anymore, that's for sure, which is uh, sad because it was kind of funny sometimes, but that's probably what hurt her when you think about it. Hey guys, it's quarter after 11 and I'm exhausted. I am going to hit the hay. Oh my gosh, Saturday just seemed to go by so fast this week. And I am still not done editing. I'm sorry guys. I don't know if that's ever going to get better. I'm going to try, but... I haven't been taking time in the evenings to edit much because I've been spending time with Matt, even though I told him I wasn't going to spend every day watching TV. I did this time because Fuller House was out and we really like the good place, so we've been doing that. Um, last night and tonight I had a bunch of M&Ms, which is bad, peanut M&Ms, oh my gosh, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm still doing something better. I need to stop beating myself up and just keep going. And I had wrap. I had a wrap. I had salad today. Um, I did have a few junky things like cookie dough. I should have went to the gym again today. I think I'll go tomorrow at some point. Um, just because. And then uh, Monday. And then probably Tuesday. And... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, and then Saturday. I'm going to figure out a schedule. I want to come at least five to six days. Like, anything less just doesn't seem enough. So, um, yeah. 
I am going to close up the vlog for tonight. Good night, everyone. I wouldn't mind if you and I would fly away together, fly away forever, honey. I wouldn't mind if you and I would fly away.